Welcome to one of my favorite cities in the UK. We've been here a few times already and today we want to explore some more and to show you as well how this place is and if it's worth it you'll see by the end of the of uh, this video This is my favorite street in New York and is the famous as well, it's called the Stumbles. And on this street we have a Christmas shop as well, although I don't know if it's open because it's not Christmas obviously, it's July, nearly July <laughs> and I'm curious if it's gonna be open today. Interesting, isn't it? I love this street. I love this city actually. And just near the Christmas shop, it's Harry Potter shop. The shop must that must not be named. an interesting way to donate uh, if you want to support the York Minster here you can put your phone or your card and pay contactless the donation that's interesting take me back to a place where I felt at home take me back to a day when we weren't alone take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small have here National Trust gift shop The Vanilla Coffee Cafe The Vanilla Cafe Not coffee On College Street no shelter to hide when everything is a lie You'll find that out in some time But when the things on your mind are all considered a crime Communication aside, we'll all just fight till we die Is this an argument or just the start of it? Either way, I don't wanna be a part of it Can I just get some space? I don't have the heart for this I can't be picking up the pieces, fixing scars from this Is this an argument or just the start of it? I wanna drive away so I can be so far from it I wanna find a place where no one breaks their promises Or maybe drown myself in something that is bottomless Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back This is the place where Henry VIII lives And we tried to visit it inside But I think nowadays it's only a like university or something <laughs> we ask someone for tickets and they look at us like what are you asking for? <laughs> yeah so 
you can visit but there's there's nothing to see anyways it's just a nice building with a nice history behind one of the bars of the walls uh, there are in total eight bars of this York is one of the cities that still have a wall surrounding it like this one interior of the bar I think this one was a gate that was protecting the city impressive they kept this <laughs> oh god, I nearly fall off. lost the bike here oh my god I think he was in the water passage here with very old houses near the York Gin look at this how beautiful what can be nicer than a gin souvenir avoid the crowd you have to come here very early morning especially if you want to take photographies one of the places you can visit here in york is the uh, jervy museum the viking center and we found this nice italian restaurant I'll show you how nice it's inside. This is the queue to get inside. It looks very nice. And the prices are not that high. I think we should try it one day when it's not as crowded as today. It looks like a pizza. It's about... 14 pounds, 15 pounds and the pasta about I think the 14 pounds is the most expensive one definitely we'll try it one day this building was built in 1730 by Richard Boyle 
And lots of churches in this city as well. Every step, churches, churches, churches. I don't think it's very happy to be standing there. Yum, 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 The price is 13 pound 50 per person. Let's see how the boat looks like. And this is the boat. It's a nice way if you want to see the city from a different perspective. On the bridge you'll see the hop on hop hop off bus. The price is I found the nicest shop in New York, Cat Gallery. Oh, look at this cat. at that uh, Italian restaurant after all we had uh, like a walk and we came back later I can't recommend it, it was, the food wasn't that great I don't know if it was only our food that we didn't like or just generally not that great the location is nice but the serving either is we stood there waiting long time so if you don't want to waste your day waiting for the food uh, I don't really recommend the place and other than that I think York is a, a very very nice place I still love it I would come back here anytime uh, I love the vibe of the city and with this we ending our vlog as well so thank you very much for watching and if you like it please hit it a like and a subscribe see you next time